Today's uh, notes, we're going to be, I mean, it's a continuation of yesterday's notes, but we're going to be specifically comparing fractions and decimal approximations of radicals, which are square roots. So there's two things that we're going to be doing on today's notes. One of them is comparing fractions, okay? So please copy down the, the title and copy down this first problem that says compare four-fifths with seven-tenths, and we want to use the less than, the greater than, or the equal to when we compare these two fractions. So there are three methods. Uh, don't copy this down right now, but I just want to talk about three methods that we could use to compare fractions to determine which one's bigger. Uh, the first method would be to use a calculator. Yeah, you could actually divide 4 by 5 on a calculator, and it'll convert it to a decimal number. You could divide 7 by 10 on a calculator, it'll give you a decimal number. And then you could compare the decimal numbers. But we're not going to actually talk about that because we can't use calculators on the first quiz. So forget that method. Okay? Um, we've also uh, done what we did yesterday, which was visualizing by drawing. Right? We, we, drawed, uh, we drew a, a two tanks and we chopped them up, or two chocolate bars, and we chopped them up into five pieces and then we shaded in four of them or we chopped it up into 10 pieces, shaded in seven of them. We did that yesterday, and it's not the best method, to be honest. But what we are gonna do today is, is this method, which is comparing uh, fractions by getting the same denominator and comparing the numerators, okay? So let me show you what I'm talking about. I am talking about, right here, this method. One method is to manipulate the fraction or fractions to get the same denominator and then compare numerators, okay? You will have to multiply both top and bottom of the fraction when you manipulate it, okay? So what we wanna do is to take this fraction and change it so the denominator five could look like this denominator 10, okay? So let me ask you, how could I change the five to look like a 10? Multiply by two. And that's what I want to do. I want to put a times two right here and a times two up here because what I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So my four fifths really becomes eight tenths. And the seven tenths, I'm just going to bring it down. Seven tenths. And now that I have the same denominator, which is 10 here and 10 here, now I could actually look at the numerators and compare the numerators. Eight and seven. Which one's bigger, seven or eight? eight? Eight. So we know that it has to open up to the eight, and that's my answer for number one. Four fifths is greater than seven tenths. What do you guys think of that? So we're gonna we're gonna do exactly this right here. We're gonna manipulate the fraction or fractions to get the same denominator and then compare numerators. You have to multiply both top and bottom of the fraction or maybe fractions when you manipulate it. How about this? Uh, let's write down the, uh, the black part right here. One method is to manipulate the fraction, or not even one method. We're going to have to manipulate the fraction. So how about this? Write down that. Manipulate the fraction or fractions to get the same denominator, then compare numerators. So hopefully you guys got down these notes on how to manipulate the fraction. Uh, you have to get the same denominator, and whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So let's practice with a couple more examples. Let me just move this out of the way. Move this up. Here's some more examples. So number two, seven tenths or thirty-three fiftieths. So we want to compare to find out which one's bigger. That will determine whether the inequality opens to the left or to the right because the Pac-Man's hungry. It always wants to eat the greater value. So again, what we're doing here is manipulating the fraction or fractions to get the same denominator. So what could I do to this first fraction? Multiply it by five. By five and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Seven times five is 35, and that is over 10. And, well, I'm sorry, over 50. Whoops. technical difficulties and the other one's gonna stay 33 over 50 and now that we have the same denominator now we could actually compare 
the 35 up here with the 33 up here. And obviously 35 is bigger than 33. And that's how we get the answer. I think it's even easier than, than visualizing. You know, I mean, visualizing is good because you truly understand it. But I mean, drawing a, a shape and cutting it into 50 pieces, forget it. That's not realistic. It's easier to get the common denominator or, or to get the same denominator and then comparing the numerators. Uh, number three. I have a three here and I want a two and I have a two here. I cannot change the two to a three or I can't change the three to a two. So what number could I change both of these guys to become? Six. six. There you go. So let's put a uh, six right here and a six over here. And let's think, how could I change this three to become a six? What do I do? There you go. Multiply by two and you multiply the top by two and that'll be a two up there. And then over here, you multiply by what? Three multiplied by three and get a three up here. And now that you have the same denominator, now you could clearly see that three is bigger than the two. Because once you have the same denominator here and here, you could just look at the top values. Again, I apologize. So once we have the denominators the same, we could just uh, look at the numerators and you'll see that three is bigger than two. So the answer is a less than symbol. It has to open up to the three. So up in the original one, it opens up to the one half compared to the one third. You guys think you got it? Yeah? Okay. How about, uh, let's just do one more. Let me just make one up here. Just throw everything out of the way. Let's compare 9 tenths with 99 one hundredths. Now, yeah, you could draw a visual, but that's, let's not do that right now. Let's practice what we've been doing, which would be manipulating the, the fraction to get the same denominator to be able to compare the numerators. So uh, which fraction are you going to be doing something to? The first one, the 9 tenths, and what do you do to that 9 tenths? Multiply it by 10. Multiply it by 10. Multiply it by 10. That way it'll become 90 over 100. So here's my new fraction that I'm comparing with this one. And now that I have the same denominator, I could look at the numerators and compare them. And which one's bigger, 90 or 99? 99. 99. So 99 is definitely bigger than the 9 tenths. And that's how to get that answer.